King Joffrey Baratheon is dead. Murdered at his own wedding. And we've taken the Marinese Navy, Your Grace. The second sons took the Marinese Navy. Who told you to take their Navy? No one. So why did you do it? I heard you liked ships. How many ships? 93, Your Grace. How many men can they carry? 9,300, not counting sailors. Would that be enough to take King's Landing? The Lannisters have more. They've been fighting Joffrey's wars for years. They're tired, dispersed, and now the king is dead. 8,000 unsullied, 2,000 second sons, sailing into Blackwater Bay and storming the gates without warning. It's hard to say. Could be enough. But we're not fighting to make you queen of King's Landing. 10,000 men can't conquer Westeros. The old houses will flock to our queen when she crosses the narrow sea. The old houses will flock to whichever side they think will win, as they always have. There's other news. From Yunkai. Without the Unsullied to enforce your rule, the wise masters have retaken control of the city. They've re-enslaved the freedmen who stayed behind and sworn to take revenge against you. And in Astapor, the council you installed to rule over the city has been overthrown by a butcher named Cleon, who's declared himself his imperial majesty. Please leave me. Not you, Jorah. It appears my liberation of Slaver's Bay isn't going quite as planned. You could sail for Westeros and leave it all behind. A boy sits on the Iron Throne, a boy many believe to be a bastard with no right to it. They've never been more vulnerable. You counseled me against rashness once in Karth. I didn't listen. It all worked out well. How can I rule seven kingdoms if I can't control Slaver's Bay? Why should anyone trust me? Why should anyone follow me? You're a Targaryen. You're the mother of dragons. I need to be more than that. I will not let those I have freed slide back into chains. I will not sail for Westeros. What then? I will do what queens do. I will rule. 